Hey, what's up guys? This is a super quick tutorial on how to sound replace drums in Logic Pro X. And for this example, we're going to be using Fundamental Worship Drums Volume 1. And this is a product by Danny Martinez. So in this example, I'm just going to use the kick, his kick sample and snare sample. let's get started so I have my drums already in logic um, inside of a inside of a uh, track folder so I have kick snare top bottom I have four toms hi-hat and overhead left and right so let me play it real quick so you can hear it So the first thing I like to do is clean up the toms a little bit. That helps with the bleed and helps the um, replacement samples to sound a lot better. All right, so what I'm doing here is using the marquee tool and the right arrow to move the little small cursor up against each drum hit. Then I'm pressing delete to make a break there. And then I trim each clip back and do a little fade out on it. Using the left and right arrows with the marquee tool inside the audio track automatically makes that line jump to the transients that logic detects. So it's pretty quick and easy to do this. Basically cut, trim, and then fade out. So we got the toms kind of cleaned up now. I'm not going to go into mixing drums so much right now, but um, what I like to do is I like to compress the toms a little bit, send them to reverb bus, and then that reverb helps with the cutoffs feel a little bit more natural, but still maintaining the cleanness. Now let's replace the kick drum here. So I'm going to click on the kick track, so it's selected, go to the track menu, go down to replace or double drum track. It's going to analyze the transients in here and it adds a new MIDI track down here below. Um, what I really want to take a quick look at is to make sure that I see a MIDI note where it's supposed to. All right, that looks perfect. So I don't have to mess with the threshold. Otherwise you could play around the threshold to um, increase or decrease the amount of hits. So I always take a look and make sure that um, what you're seeing is exactly matching up correctly. And trigger no auto, that's fine. I'm gonna press OK. And I'm gonna mute this. The next step would be to double click on the MIDI region. Then we'll go to Control A and highlight all of the MIDI notes. And then I'm going to drag the velocity slider all the way to the right. What this does is turn up all the notes, but turns them up relative to each other so that there's still the difference in velocity similar to what was originally played. This will sound more realistic than just making all the notes the same velocity, for example. All right, the next step would be to jump over here on the left side inspector and down here on the track, it has sampler. Sampler is automatically added by Logic and I'm going to open it up and I don't need to see any of these. But I do want to see mapping and zone. So there is a kick sample here. I'm going to replace that. I'm going to go to kick 24. Let's go to big and I want the louder of the three. So I'm going to grab this one. Well, actually, first, I'm going to delete what's here. Grab this one. Just drop it in right there. You can click on the sides of it to cover more notes. I believe that this note here is C1, but uh, the next step is going to be to turn off pitch, which is clicking there. And I'm going to turn on one shot, which is right here. So now I'm going to hit play. Yep, 
And that's pretty much it for the kick. It seems a little quiet, so I had to boost it up a little bit. So you can turn up the volume inside of a uh, sampler. So for example, I'm going to go here, set this volume to six. Maybe a little bit more, maybe nine. All right, that should give me plenty of volume to work with. Now I'm going to do the same thing for snare. I'm going to use snare top um, for my reference. So I'm clicking on snare top. I go to track, replace or double drum track. It's analyzing the transients like before. Instrument, I'm going to choose snare. Then I'm going to take a look here. Bang, 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 bang. All right, cool. I don't have to adjust this at all. Obviously, if the threshold was like down here, it'd be a lot of false hits. There. I could turn it up so it's about minus five. And I'll just hit OK. Drag that down here. I'm going to mute both snare top and bottom. Now I'm going to open the sampler plugin. Do the same thing as before. Go down here to the mapping. Select the snare that's there, which is the logic, a snare logic picked. I'm going to just delete that. Go back to Finder, and now I'm going to grab Snare Franklin. Let's grab. Mm, I'll do Big N Reverb because I'm not. I'm not going to do separate um, snares. Let's go bright, and I'm going to grab the highest velocity, and I'm going to drop it in here. Same thing as before, I'm going to turn off pitch. I'm going to turn on one shot. I'm going to go ahead and just drag this out to cover the notes. Let me go check the MIDI. I'm going to crank it up the same way as before. I'm going to give it a little bit more volume, maybe about one. All right, let's hear the kick and snare together. But here's what it sounds like all together. Hopefully guys, this gives you kind of a starting spot for replacing your own drums in Logic. Um, thanks for watching and until next time, take care.